This is a Volvo D13 and we have the traction control, the ABS and stability control on, on the dashboard. And all these problems were because of the bad ABS sensor on the front right side was a bad ABS sensor and also bad brake pressure sensor. You have two brake pressure sensors. They are located on the, under the left side of the dash. You can go right here and you will see a lot of connections. And first one from the right side in the corner, it's brake pressure sensor number two. And on the top right here, it's brake pressure sensor number one. This is how it looks. I just bought a new one. I'm gonna install it right there. It's a quick connector. And after I'm gonna connect back the plug. And after this, you will need to do a calibration. The first one was our problem. Second was second problem is just because I disconnected the second sensor. And first sensor mechanical system do not respond doesn't respond. So now I'm gonna replace it. And just press it all the way in. Make sure better the ignition is off. Make sure better the ignition is off when you connect and it's con connecting and disconnecting the electrical connectors. And now we can plug back the connector. The connector is back. Now let's turn on the ignition and check one more time for the errors. I'm gonna delete the old fault codes. Select all. Clear. Yes. And we'll see if it's gonna appear back. After you should start the truck, build up the pressure to the maximum and do the brake calibration. I just did a brake calibration, right now I am clearing the throttle codes again and we should be good. Let's check one more time, let's wait for the diagnosis. Nothing on the dashboard. We need to solve the problem also with park regeneration. As you can see, no more throttle codes. And everything is fine and the problem was in this brake sensor number one we replaced it and everything is fine it cost about eighty dollars now we need just to put this cover back and we're good And remember, brake sensor number one, brake sensor number two. And this was the problem with our sensor. It had a connection and it was, the wire was damaged, so we just replaced it with a new one. Mm -hmm.